This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Blocks are great tools that help you repeat line work multiple times. They also help you use standard designs every time. There is another type of block that provides flexibility in your design. They're called dynamic blocks. As their name implies, dynamic blocks are, well, dynamic. That means they have the ability to change. This essentially gives you multiple blocks in one block. Dynamic blocks contain defined parameters for insertion and alterations. They provide flexibility in size, rotations, visibility, and a whole slew of other options all in one block. One dynamic block can replace several different blocks. Open up the dynamic block file. AutoCAD comes with several dynamic blocks out of the box, so we can use some to get an idea of what they do. So let's take a look. To get to them, open up the tool palette. You do that by pressing Control and 3 at the same time. Now this is a tool palette, just like any other palette. You can move it around, you can hide it, you can resize it, or you can dock it. However you want to use it. It has multiple tabs on it that will give you different commands, annotations, and different types of blocks. I'm going to look at the architectural blocks with the imperial samples. If you want, you can use metric samples. But for this example file, it's drawn in inches and feet. Load some of the different dynamic blocks by dragging them, and you put them into the drawing area. You'll know if a block is dynamic because it has the little lightning bolt glyph. If you look at some of the civil examples, for example, this bore and PVI symbol, they're not dynamic blocks, they're static. There's no lightning bolt. But as you can see, there are a lot of different dynamic blocks that come with AutoCAD. Let's start by dragging in the door. Just click it and drag it. If it's the first time you've loaded it into this file, it might take a few seconds to load, but that's okay. Wherever you drop it, that's where the block's going to go. We can look at this door, and there are several little triangles and arrows that open up when we load this and when we select it. They do different things. Just hover over it, and it will tell you what you can do with that. See the door changed click here, I can change the width just by dragging. Let's move the block out so we can see it a little bit more clearly. Now if I want a block that is 3 feet 4 inches wide, I would have to draw one. If I wanted a second door that was just 2 feet wide, I'd have to create a second block. If I wanted one that was closed, that's a third block. At 45 degrees, that's another block. I can change the direction of the door, and I can even flip it around. The door is one of the more complex dynamic blocks because it has over one, two, three, four, five, six options. Some of them are a little bit more simple, like the window. I can pick on the length to change it, flip the direction, or change the width. This is an alignment point. It helps me to move the block where I want it to go to. Now some blocks, like this car for example, don't really change. They just have a visibility setting. So if I want to see a sports car with a side view, I can switch it to a sports car with a front view. It doesn't stretch or rotate. It just changes the way it looks. So now I can have one block to draw all of my cars in. I can even put in a truck. Or if I want to look at it from the top, there's my truck. If we look at the stud example here, I can select it. There are arrows going everywhere. Some of them will give me multiple variations. Some give you different sizes, different widths. Or they have a pull-down menu. 
to a defined size. If you change your design from being a 2x10 to a 2x8, that's just one quick click. You don't want three studs. You only want one. We're finished. Oh wait, client changed their mind again. We need two back in there. Go right ahead and do it. It's that simple. If we look at this anchor rod, there's not much to this one. It's very simple. You can change the length and you can change the height. Now others can change even more. If we go to the structural and we look at the I-beams, for example, I can select it. What size beam do you want? Pick it, and there you go. The design changed again. Okay. Well, we're done. So you see, dynamic blocks can be very powerful, and they are very easy to use, and they allow you to change your design on the fly. You don't have to create a new block for a unique situation. You just change it slightly by clicking and dragging on some of the glyphs. It's very easy to use and they can help you out in a pinch.